Daniel from Coralusk, and I'm excited to talk to you guys today about smart aquascaping. One of the things I've been wanting to do with our YouTube channel is teach you guys more about how we do things and how to set up your aquarium with more success without the problems that a lot of people or new beginners have. So this is live rock. We did take it out the water and we did mortar this and stick it together with our customers. So they picked out their tank. This is going in a Red Sea. This is the E260. We measured it out and we let them come in here and stack the rock. So this is their design. And what I'm helping them with is mortaring it. One of the things, you know, they come here, they set it up and they want to take it home and look the same. So I did the next best thing that you could possibly do. And I did the smart aquascape. So let me tell you what that means. And I'll get into that in a second. But let me show you one more thing that we did. For those of you who aren't always in for Marco Rock or for the reef look, we do custom molded aquascapes. Now this is a sand waterfall. This is a habitat black. This is an actual epoxy that we molded and we created just for fun. So that is a sand waterfall and it's pretty cool when it runs. So I'll show you guys that in another video. So today I'm gonna to show you the aquascaping and why I call it smart um, aquascaping. So one of the things, being an engineer, modular is so important to us because it makes use of things. When you're into the reefing hobby, nine times out of 10, you're gonna upgrade your tank, you're gonna change your look on your tank, you're gonna go from soft corals, hard corals, some SPS, maybe acro. So making your rock modular and not just gluing it all together for stability gives you the chance to change it later on and to take it to another tank. So you ready for it? I'm going to show you the big reveal. This is what I mean by modular. So we mortared together individual pieces, okay? So this can be changed now. Look at the rock. So if we want to change it, go a little bit taller, take off, we want to frag some of these corals that are on here. We didn't mortar this part. So it's stable, it's safe and secure, so we don't have to worry about a rock pile or it tumbling down. So that's one of the things that is important, right? So we made this secure, okay? So this is going to go back in our water in a second. I'll put this over here for now, okay? And then, now look at this. This is what I mean by modular as well. See the layout of this tank and this rock. So if we decide to change this at all, we can pick this structure up, we can turn it, we can put it in the back, we can move it around to give you guys different looks each time for a different aquarium. So they're testing this out, maybe a coral grows on the front and I'm not happy with it anymore. I can take this piece out, okay? I can pick this piece up, turn it around, or turn it sideways, and then take this piece over here. There's no way, guys, that's gonna fall over, right? So that's the beauty of it. Let me show you this piece. We'll put it back up here, okay? And you always wanna check and see, like we can twist it until it falls in a groove. These rocks here have really nice grooves, and I like that a lot. So there you guys go. I just wanted to show you that. The Marco mortar is stunning for making aquascapes. Um, especially a lot safer. So I'm gonna go put these back in the water so that they can remain live rock. So the mortar can actually cure underwater, which I love. So we're just gonna set these pieces here on the cart and then we'll take them over to the water and put them in. So beautiful that they can just be stacked anyway. And this is our saltwater bath where we cure the rock. So we already put some aqua vitro seed in here and we have a sponge filter. This thing is incredible. The water will be crystal clear within 24 hours. Now we did just rinse some new rock and we put it in here. So it is gonna be a process and it will take some time. But while the customer's waiting and setting up their tank, this cured rock is gonna make a huge, huge difference between the success in their aquarium and them starting out from scratch. They're not gonna get that red Sino outbreak that a lot of you have as a new beginner. Now I also told them to make sure that they keep their lights off when they're starting their tank for the first couple weeks. So I'm making sure that they take their time and they do it correctly. So these rocks are gonna cure. And like I said, we'll come back to this in a little bit, but just for now, I'm sticking them in here. So the rock in the mortar is gonna set. Then I'll be able to move these around and pretty much do whatever I want with them. Um, they'll be pretty much indestructible, and you're not going to break that mortar without breaking the Marco rock. So you're going to have a great success 
And another thing I want to show you while we're over here is the Marco Rock is great for filtration. Um, the seed is great for the rock, but also if you're into high-end aquascaping and you know what you're doing, you're somewhat of an engineer like me, then you can not only add these, right? These bio balls, these marine pure blocks for extra filtration because one of these blocks has more surface area than a whole rock over here. So you can design your tank and make it as beautiful as you want and this little block here is probably worth about 20 rocks. So I'll do a comparison on that later on but I just wanted to show you guys that. I throw these in the back for the all-in-ones like the Red CE 260. It has the optional sump upgrade but when you're starting out these things are lifesavers. So we're letting those cure and like I said, as always, thanks for watching. It's happy reefing. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. Share this video with a friend. If you're new to the hobby and you have any other questions, feel free to comment below, and we'll get back to you guys and answer your questions as best we can. So thanks again for watching. See you guys in the next one. Hey, you. Stop scrolling right now. Have you ever seen an Elegance Coral for $27.50? What about a Deadpool Jawbreaker? Only $75. Bucks. How about an LA Lakers, though? A $10. That is right, everybody. New COVID quarantine auctions are now on eBay for corals. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Check them out right now.